Hi guys, Maya Luchi here and in this video I will teach you a step-by-step -step way how to determine if the molecule is chiral. A chiral molecule is a molecule whose mirror image is not superimposable, but it would be really hard for us to imagine a mirror image and try to superimpose it in space, so instead I'm going to give you the steps to figure this out. The first thing that you need to do is you need to understand what the chiral center is and how to find it. There are many different ways for chiral centers. Uh, some textbooks call them stereocenters, chiral carbons, and so on. We're just going to call it chiral center in this session. So a chiral center is a carbon that is attached to four different groups. How do we check and find chiral centers in our molecules. So first, we will look at the carbons. If your carbon is attached to two hydrogens or three hydrogens, automatically it is out. It's not a chiral center. Let's go ahead and look at this molecule. This carbon is attached to a bromine, a hydrogen, and it's attached to a methyl group on the left and a methyl group on the right. Is this a chiral center? No, because it does not have four different groups. So this carbon is not a chiral center. Let's look at this carbon. It is attached to hydrogen, chlorine. So far, this is different. Carbon on the left and carbon on the right. But as we go atom by atom to the left and to the right, we will notice a difference. On the right, this carbon is attached to another carbon. And on the left, this carbon is not attached to another carbon. Therefore, this is a chiral center. And we will put an asterisk next, next to it. And let's look at this molecule. If we look at this carbon, it's attached to hydrogen a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. Now, this carbon is not attached to any more carbons, but these two are, so this carbon is different. This carbon is attached to a double bond O, and this is not. That's a difference. So this carbon is a chiral center because it is attached to four different groups. Finally, let's take a look here. This carbon is attached to an oxygen, a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. Again, this carbon is only attached to three hydrogens, but this, these carbons are attached to more carbons. The carbon to the left is attached to another carbon. The carbon to the right is attached to another carbon. Then, as we continue, they fall on the same carbon. So going to the left and to the right, there's, not, there's no difference going to the left and to the right. And therefore, this carbon is not a chiral center because it does not have four different groups. Going to the left and going to the right is the same. Also, I want to pay your attention that a lot of times when we see something in the textbook, let's say we see a molecule that looks like this, Hydrogens or car on carbons are not shown. I did show hydrogens on all of my examples, but most likely yours will not be shown. You just need to remember that every carbon wants to have four bonds. So if it has one, two, three bonds, that means there is a hydrogen here that was not shown and you would have to show it yourself. In terms of the other carbons on my molecules, for example, this carbon, notice that this carbon has two bonds and it wants to have four. That means two hydrogens are not shown, which means this is not a chiral center because it has two of the same groups, two hydrogens. So again, if your carbon is attached to two hydrogens or three hydrogens, it is definitely not a chiral center and you can eliminate all of those. Now that we know how to identify and recognize a chiral center, I'm going to teach you my trick on how to determine if the molecule is chiral or achiral using this chart that I created for you. So first, when you look at the molecule, you will ask, does this molecule have a chiral center? If your answer is no, your molecule is most likely achiral. There are exceptions. There are molecules that have 
no chiral centers and I still chiral, but that is very rare. So for our purposes, we will say a chiral. If the answer is yes, you have to ask other two or more chiral centers. If the answer is no, your molecule is chiral. If the answer is yes, you have to ask final question. Is there a plane of symmetry cutting the molecule in two identical halves? And this plane of symmetry could be vertical, horizontal, as long as it's through the center of the molecule. And if the answer is no, your molecule is chiral. And if the answer is no, yes, you have a special molecule called a mesomolecule, which is a chiral. This may be confusing, so let's go ahead, get to practice, and see how to use this chart. So let's look at this molecule first. The first question I ask, does this molecule have a chiral center? So this carbon is attached to bromine. It's also attached to hydrogen that is not shown. So let's show this hydrogen. The reason I know it's attached to hydrogen is because a carbon wants to have four bonds. And right now it has only three. So that means there is a hydrogen. Since bromine is on a dash, hydrogen would be on a wedge. And this carbon is attached to bromine, hydrogen. As we go to the left and to the right, we do see a difference. This carbon is attached to another carbon, but this carbon is attached to a bromine and a carbon. Going to the left and to the right is different. This carbon indeed has a chiral center. Actually, it has two chiral centers. So this is going to be a chiral center and this. So let's go ahead and look at my chart. Does this molecule have a chiral center? Yes. Are there two or more chiral centers? Yes. We have two here. Is there a plane of symmetry cutting the molecule in two identical halves? So let's just erase this hydrogen to take a look. This molecule does look symmetrical this way, but because this bromine is on a dash and this bromine is on a wedge, the answer is no, because we would not have two identical halves because these would not correspond to one another. So what does that mean? That means that my molecule is chiral. And let's go to the next example. Is there a chiral carbon? Again, there are three bonds, so that means this carbon is attached to hydrogen. Hydrogen, OH, and then left and right sides are different. This is a methyl group, this is an ethyl. So we do have a chiral carbon, chiral center. Are there two or more chiral centers? No, this is my only one, only one chiral center here. And so if this is a no, that means my molecule is chiral. So this molecule is chiral as well. Next one, looking at this molecule, uh, there is their chiral center. This carbon is attached to a methyl group here, a hydrogen, and then going this way, we have carbon, carbon. This carbon is attached to a methyl group. This is not. So indeed, as we go through the four groups, we see that all of them are different. We have a hydrogen, a methyl group, a carbon that's attached to another carbon, and a carbon that's attached to two carbons here. And by the way, if you master your R and S configuration, you will identify your chiral carbons right away. So you can check my video on that to be really good at applying that. Now that we know that this is a chiral carbon, for the same reason, this would be a chiral carbon as well. So there are two chiral carbons. So let's go through my chart again. Does this molecule have a chiral center? Yes. Are there two or more chiral centers? Yes. So the last question is, is there a plane of symmetry? Now, is there a plane of symmetry that cuts this molecule in half? So if we cut this molecule in half this way, this is indeed a plane of symmetry. And that is because my methyl groups will coincide and two halves are exactly the same. So this molecule is actually a meso compound. This is a meso molecule. And because it is a meso molecule, this is a chiral. So this is a special molecule. This is a meso molecule, a chiral, because it does have chiral centers, but it also has a plane of symmetry that makes it a meso compound. And let's go to this one. 
is their chiral center so let's look at this carbon again and by the way i'm ignoring all of these carbons because i know right away that each one of these has two hydrogens so they're out automatically because if i have two hydrogens i'm not a chiral center this carbon it's attached to what what are these two groups they're actually both methyl groups they look different but they're the same groups both of them are methyl groups just one carbon so is this a chiral carbon chiral center no it is not and if i don't have a chiral center i cannot be chiral for the most part again there are exceptions but uh, most likely you will not encounter those exceptions okay so this is an a chiral molecule and let me now show you how your professor can trick you so for example let's look at this molecule separately let's have that i have a mole let's say that i have a molecule like this I have a bromine here and a bromine here and I am asked are there any chiral centers so if you look at this carbon it's attached to bromine it's also attached to a hydrogen he, the left and the right are definitely different because on the left I have a methyl group and as I'm going to the right there's a difference there's bromine attached so indeed this is a chiral center I'm going to put a star next to it just like this is a chiral center for the same reason this would be a chiral center as well you can check me now that i know that i have two chiral centers i have to ask myself is there a plane of symmetry so the molecule looks kind of symmetrical but the thing is that my groups are not aligned to check the symmetry so if that happens you have to do something extra what you will have to do is you will have road you will have to rotate around the single bond like so or you could rotate the other way so i chose to rotate my right side i keep my left my left side the same so my left side still has a bromine on a dash and when i rotate my right side the methyl group will go down and the bromine will go up and when you rotate, when something goes from down up, you can remember the trick to change its stereochemistry. So if I was on a wedge, I'm going to be on a dash. And now everything is aligned, bromine is aligned, methyl is aligned. Now we can check if there is a, a plane of symmetry. And indeed, there is the two halves are identical. And this molecule, therefore, is a chiral. If you look at this molecule similarly again I have to rotate around the single bond for everything to align and when I rotate remember to switch the stereochemistry for the carbon that's getting rotated so this chlorine was down I rotate now my chlorine is up it used to be a wedge it will have to be a dash is there a plane of symmetry no there is no plane of symmetry here and therefore this molecule will be chiral